Right, so two very different films yes. to talk about. Uh, and the Shang is a double bill as well. <laughs> On Friday, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they are, which is mad. But yeah. right. How, I mean, what order do you think people should watch them in? I mean, I would say Imperium first, because it's, very, very, like, it's quite a heavy uh, sort of movie, and then Swiss Army Man as just a bizarre palate cleanser. Because as weird as Swiss Army Man is, it, it's ultimately it's a really joyous, fun film. Um, so I think to sort of end on a end on a, a sort of slightly higher note of of joy, I think you can probably uh, look to a Swiss Army Man. But Imperium is 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 quite uh, quite dark. It is quite intense. It's kind of scary and of the moment as yeah. well. There seems to be a lot of chat, especially in entertainment about diversity and race and things like that. And this film kind of taps into that, doesn't it? A little bit. I mean, not not so much in the in the the issues that are like we're talking about in the film industry with race and things. But it, uh, you know, I mean, it, it definitely is. It's something that we did not uh, anticipate. Is that some of these views these obviously far right wing extremist views that we explore in the film would have moved so much towards the mainstream of political um life in america and well everywhere since then um but yeah it is i mean and that's what i liked about the film that it functions as this thriller first and foremost but also it has got this political conversation that's sort of happening at the same time are you following what's going on in America with the politics at the moment? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm following it probably closer than... Well, I've spent, I spent more time over there over the summer than I have in England, so I probably am more uh, familiar with what's going on there than what's going on here. Any but, hopes yeah. for the election? Um, yeah, dwindling by the day. Um, but, um, you know, we, we're, we're all, we're all going to cope. The world's not going to end. We'll, uh, if, I, do, I do think he's, he's going to get in, actually, um, unfortunately. Um, but... You know, there's we'll we'll make the best of it, um, and I think, I, frankly, I think that at this point, him not getting in is maybe more dangerous than him getting in, just because the amount of people that will then say it was all rigged and it was. I feel like there's almost a part of you that you. It's like no, you need if you want this, you need to see, you need to get it so that you see how much you don't want it really. Because um, I do think as well that you know, I I, I feel like Trump's going to hate being president. Like I feel like the actual day to day work of being a president and having to you know care about people or at least pretend to is is going to come really hard to him. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see. But I've I've uh, you know, hopefully Hillary will win. But I'm not too hopeful. <laughs> um, I want to. Change now, obviously, onto Swiss Army Man. Sure. Um, so you're basically the uh, the guy of the title, really, aren't you? you I can, am the yeah. Swiss Army Man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I so uh, the film is sort of about Paul Dano's character finds uh, my character dead, washed up on a beach, um, and very quickly realizes that he has all sorts of amazing powers that he can uh, travel across the water, um, prope propelled uh, by his farts like a jet ski. Um, he can uh, make fire, he can store water and, and function as a sort of a, a tap or a shower. Um, he can uh, chop wood with his sort of um, multi-purpose limbs. Uh, yeah, they find, they, they find a lot of use. And he can shoot stuff out of my mouth, that's the other thing. He like, loads my mouth up with stones and then uses me like a machine gun to kill fish. That's one of my favourite shots of the film. It's brilliant, <laughs> absolutely loved it. Um, what's it like, because it is kind of playing a dead body and I yeah. always think of all those guys on the crime TV dramas who like you're, you're right at the there. top of your career and these are guys who are like usually around the bottom playing the yes I mean I, I do get a lot to do as a corpse um, he's fortunately if I'd just been lying there the whole time I'm not sure I would have taken the job but we did want to we did want to get get it to the point because I don't think I talk or move really for the first 15 minutes of the film and we did want to get it just to the point where the audience is thinking why does he do this movie like is he ever going to talk um and and then that's around the time that Manny starts kind of waking up and, and becoming a little bit a little bit more human. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was it was great fun, and I love all the silly physical stuff and like the the slapsticky elements of it, and um, just the fact that something so stupid and juvenile can exist in the same world as something so beautiful and profound, and it sort of all holds it together in this one insane movie. Is uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of, of both of them. I loved it. I thought it was great. Final question. Um, have you seen Cursed Child yet? I have not. No, I haven't seen it. I've heard a lot about it, but um, all great, but I, I, have, I have not seen it yet. I don't know if I'll be going to see it, to be honest. Really? Because yeah. there was a gala last night and I, uh, you were down to go, so I thought... Was there? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't, didn't know anything I, about I, it. I didn't know anything about that, <laughs> no, so I think okay. somebody might have just put my name down there. Um, yeah, no, I, um, I, I, haven't, I haven't been. I think it would be very strange to... 
Um, I think I would find it quite strange to watch a play about Harry Potter in a room full of huge Harry Potter fans who would be maybe looking at me for my reactions to it and things like that. Yeah. They wouldn't be watching the play, would they, pretty much? Uh, that's so, my fear. Yeah. Like, it yeah. mightn't be totally baseless, but that is my, that's what I worry about, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I was, I was really sorry, hoping that you would have seen it finally last night and I could tell you, what? No, I'm really sorry. That's yeah, right, no. no <laughs> Perfect. And yeah, good luck healing yes, from your, your you. fall.